We discovered that the East Tennessee Republican had been found guilty in that secret process of sexually harassing the college interns, accused of some extremely vulgar, vulgar behavior. But Campbell didn't lose his leadership post in the Republican caucus nor his committee seats. That all changed within hours after we confronted him this morning. Hey, Representative Campbell, how are you, sir? We wanted to give the East Tennessee Republican a chance to respond to the findings of our latest investigation of Tennessee's Capitol Hill. Uh, as I understand, you admitted to sexually harassing this intern. Give me just five seconds. In fact, Scotty Campbell already knew we were investigating some serious allegations. Hold on just a second about his relationship with at least one legislative intern, although he was soon divulge there was a second intern. I had consensual adult conversations with two adults off, off property. One doesn't get uh, written up for consensual conversations. The, the letter says that you were guilty of violating the harassment policy. Uh, I think conversations are consensual once that's verbally agreed to. And if I choose to talk to any intern in the future, it will be recorded. Campbell is vice chair of the House Republican Caucus, and when three Democrats engaged in a gun violence protest on the House floor, he voted to expel all three. On another occasion, the woman says she went to Campbell's apartment to return a wrench she had borrowed. Quote, he proceeded to ask how many men I've slept with. She recalled, I told him zero, and he insisted I was lying and told me not to lie. He then proceeded to ask how many women I've slept with and said he bets girls go crazy over me. As for how Campbell thinks his vote to expel the Tennessee Three squares with his own behavior. They broke the House rules of decorum. And you broke the, the House policies regarding sexual harassment, according to this letter. I had a consensual conversation with adults. And when the adults informed me that we could talk and that there weren't guardrails, I talked to who I thought were my friends.